Good morning. My name is Megan, and today we will be going through the instructions of the Checkout Slip Mini Journal. So you should have received by now your checkout slip with the checkout slip sleeve, like this one. Some paper that is cut to a much smaller size than this, and a golf pencil. I will be using a pencil I had on hand, but you will have a golf pencil. So. With that in mind, uh, before we get started, make sure you have some scissors and a stapler on hand, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, welcome back. I'm glad you grabbed those things. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and tilt the screen downward so that way we can follow along with what I'm doing. So I have with me my paper and my checkout slip. Your checkout slip will serve as your template for the sizes of the pages you need. So you're going to place it in the corner and if you want your lines to be horizontal when you fold them into your journal, you want to make sure your lines are running vertical uh, when you, before you cut. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. So we're just going to use our pencil to trace. What's nice with the long paper is it also helps you have your own kind of grid. So we have that all traced, and now we're going to cut that to size. So I'll be right back with our cut to size paper. All right, thank you for waiting. So I've cut my paper to size, and although it's a little hard to see on my screen, you can see that I have, when I turn my paper from the way I cut it to the way it will be folded, I do have those horizontal lines. Yay. All right, so now we're going to take our pages, as well as our checkout slip, and line them up, stacking them nice and evenly. This helps us check the size, and I can zoom out to cut a little bit more off in a few minutes, but that's okay. And now we're going to fold this in half. You're going to find the halfway point for your journal, and you're going to just nice and even fold here on a crease. I'm going to take my pages out now that they're folded in half. And I have my cover instead of the side. I'm going to look at my pages. I'm going to see that they're a little uneven. So I'm just going to kind of trim the edges here. There we go. I'm also going to go ahead and take off this little bit here just to give it a nice even bottom. Now we have confetti. All right, so once you've cut that all to size and you have done your confetti um, to make it as even as possible for the inside, we are ready to put this all together. So just go ahead and have it set here in the center with that crease nice and lined up, making sure it's lined up with the cover as well. We're gonna take our stapler, stapler um, and we're going to go ahead and line this up. Now there's two different ways you can staple this. You can either have the long side of the staple inside or outside your journal. And we're gonna go ahead and have ours on the outside. So you're gonna wanna hold this upside down. And we're gonna line it up as evenly as we can with that crease. And you know, for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and just darken that up a bit. So I'm lining it up with that dark line, okay? And just know that there is a marker on your stapler where there's a little dent and that's where you want it to line up. We want one, two, and three. All right, so I got that one pretty lined up pretty evenly. It's not quite on the crease, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and do our other staple now. And we're gonna try and again, just get it as close to the crease as you can, possibly can, if not on it. One, two, three. There we go. And those are lined up pretty nice and evenly. So when I fold it, just barely not on the crease. But on the inside, you'll see we have it nice and evenly lined out. Doesn't take up too much of the page. You now have a really cool little journal to your. And we've included the slip so your journal has a nice protective case. So you can take it anywhere on the go and have it nice and secure. Thank you for joining us again today, and I hope you had a good time.
And I hope your journal comes in nifty when you need it. Uh, we did include that golf pencil for you, so that way you have a writing tool for you as you need it, and that can also fit conveniently in your little checkout slip. All right, thank you again. Have a great day.